In this video, we'll look at how to make a geometric distribution table. So, the probability of success in this situation we're told is 20% or 0 0.2, and we're going to do six trials. It should be obvious that if the success rate is 20%, the failure rate, Q, will be 80% or 0 0.8. So, let's make our geometric distribution table. Well, with geometric, X is always the number of possible failures. So you could have zero, zero failures, then you'd have your success. Or one failure, then you'd have your success. Or two failures, then success. Three, four, five. But we don't actually go up to six because we only have six trials. And if X is the number of failures, geometric distribution always has this many failures, then one success. So five failures, then a success would be our six trials. So that's the limit of our table. Okay, well, what's the probability? We have no failures, then our success. That's just no failures. You don't even need to put it if you don't want. Then our success. What's the probability of one failure? Well, it would be one failure, then a success. And so on. Here's two failures happening, then our success. And three failures happen, then our success and four failures happen, and then our success. And finally, five failures, and then the success. Now, note, unlike binomial distribution tables, a geometric distribution table won't add up to 100%. That's because you could theoretically fail an infinite number of times. So we should put some sort of dot, dot, dot to show technically this table goes on. But we're asked only to show for six trials, as in five possible failures. Okay. Well, let's calculate. We'll do them one by one. The first one is just, well, what's 0 0.8 to the power of 0 is just 1, so what's 1 times 0.2? Just 0.2, that's easy. The next one is just 0.8 times 0.2, and you get 0 0.16. The next one is 0.8 squared times 0.2, and you get 0. 128. The next one is 0.8 cubed times 0.2 and you get 0 0.1024. You can keep punching these in, 0.8 to the power of 4 times 0.2, but you might notice there's actually a pattern and you could save yourself some time just by taking the last result. What's the difference between this result and this result? It's just times another 0.8. You could just times this by 0.8 and you'd get the same answer. Look, I'll show you what I mean. I'll write that down. What's, let's try it the other way. Just go 0.8 to the power of 5, then times 0.2, and you get that number. That is, you can just calculate the first one and then keep timesing them by 0.8, or you can type this in each time. Either way, what we've done here is wrote down the success and failure probabilities and then calculated a geometric distribution table. 